Today, I want to introduce the tourism factory of Huo Yuan Yi. Tourism factory Guo Yuan Yi. Mr. Guo Liangzhen established Guo Yuan Yi in 1867. The first store of Guo Yuan Yi is in Shilin Old Street. Mr. Guo Liangzhen used the shoulder pole to take some handmade cakes to sell in Shilin New Street. Because of the good taste of their cakes, the brand became more and more famous. Until now, the brand of Guo Yuan Yi has been passed down to the fifth generation. Guo Yuan Yi has many kinds of products. For example, cookies with different flavors like chocolate, butter, and sesame, traditional and firm cakes. Fluffy and sweet smiling bread. Among all these products, there are three famous ones that people buy most. They are pea filling cakes, mini Chinese paste, and the sweet potato soft candy. Because Guo Yuan Yi's gift boxes taste good, but are not too expensive. People like to give Guo Yuan Yi's gift boxes as presents. The price of cookie gift box is between 700 to 1,000 new Taiwan dollars. The price of bright cake is between 200 to 300 new Taiwan dollars. In order to attract more customers, Guo Yuan Yi holds different promotion activities at different festivals. For instance, Guo Yuan Yi held activities on last Chinese New Year, their 152th anniversary, and Valentine's Day. If people share the information and finish the missions, they could have some giveaways or coupons. In Taiwan, there are 23 direct selling stores of Guo Yuan Yi, 11 in northern area, 4 in central area, and 8 in southern area. It also has 13 other stores that apply products of Guo Yuan Yi. And now, two tourism factories operate normally, one in Shilin, the other in Yangmei. I saw six advantages at Guo Yuan Yi Tourism Factory. First, the Tourism Factory is a green building. It fits nice standards in sustainable architecture. So, this is an environmentally friendly building. Second, they have an eco-public toilet, water-saving devices, and the wind power generation are included. Third, the factory's road signs are clear. I saw the road signs two kilometers away from the tourism factory, and they guide me to the correct direction. Fourth, inside the tourism factory, it has a handmade classroom. Parents can DIY cookies with their children. Fifth, there are many electronic devices that people can interact with. People can learn some knowledge from them. Last, people can read the details of Guo Yuan Yi's history and product categories on the introduction walls. Although there are many advantages of Guo Yuan Yi Tourism Factory, it still has some disadvantages that can be improved. First, the temperature in the exhibition hall is too low. Maybe they can try to adjust temperature according to the numbers of visitors. In addition, on rainy days, the garden outside is not easy to walk. Pepper trail may be a good solution to it. 
Moreover, the indicators are too high. Children cannot read easily. Maybe they can put some additional indicators on the ground. Last, the testing counter doesn't have employee. When I was there, staffs could pay more attention to customers. Visitors can make cookies themselves in the handmade classroom. They can know the original ingredients through the process. This makes customers are more willing to buy the product. The content of guided tour is interesting and inspired. It can attract more customers to visit the tourism factory. Thank you.